Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or Nuznuz here, and in today's video, this is going to be a video for all you free-to-play players or returning players that don't have membership and that are working towards trying to get a bond to become a member through free-to-play. Now, free-to-play doesn't have a ton of money-making methods, so I thought I would try something a bit different for this video since I tend to get a lot of requests on my money-making guides in the comments asking what you can do for free-to-play. Well, this video is going to be sort of a daily money making run guide like I did for members. I'll post that video in the description in case you're interested, but this time it's going to be for free to play. So it's essentially going to be a shop run route, but everything I could find that's valuable in free to play will be in here. This video won't make you rich, but it's a nice and quick method that you can do every day to help work towards your bond and getting out of free to play. So without further ado, I'm going to get into my route and what I buy, and then we will look at the total loot and GP per hour. So to start this method, you will just need about 150k cash, and you can do this once per day. But you won't need a crazy amount of cash, like I said, just 150k, so let us get into the route now. All right, guys, so to start, you're gonna, gonna wanna go to Port Serum and you're basically gonna wanna go here on the map and there will be a milk cellar north of Port Serum near the Cabbage Patch that sells 200 buckets of milk. And you're gonna wanna get these and basically go south and bank them at the deposit box near the Monks of Entrana. And you can get around 200. Um, you'll probably get around 225 by the time uh, you finish because some will have respawned. But it only took me about three minutes maybe three three and a half four minutes to do all these it's about uh you know nine trips ten trips so it really doesn't take that long and uh the buckets of milk actually sell for about 1.4k each um on the ge so for free to play this is honestly one of the main sources of money uh doing this daily run so um, I didn't know about this, but I found this out, and it is really quite interesting and good. So make sure you go and you spend the three to four minutes buying out the buckets of milk. And we're going to go on to the next shop now. All right, guys. So now you're going to want to go to the Port Serum Fishing Shop, and you're going to want to buy out all the feathers. Now, I buy the feather packs, but don't pay attention to that because you actually can't buy them on free-to-play. But don't worry, we'll take them out of the price check and they won't be factored in. And then after this, you're going to want to head north. And you're going to want to go to Betty's Magic Shop. Now, Betty's Magic Shop has a ton of runes and other items that we'll get into. Um, but the rune shops are where you're going to make a ton of money on free-to-play. It's mostly because runes just go for a lot. And there's a few shops in free-to-play where you can get them. So when you go in, you're going to want to buy the fire runes, the water runes, the air runes, the earth runes, the mine runes, the body runes, and the chaos runes. And I buy the death runes. They don't make you a ton of money, so you don't have to buy them. But I ended up buying them. And then we actually want to buy the wands. So we're going to want to buy the Imporn wands, the Batwing wands. Uh, I also bought the Batwing tops, which also work. And uh, you're going to want to basically buy all the wands but the wizard ones. And the reason is, I believe, is because people will disassemble these on... Uh, on members worlds using invention to get components so uh, that's kind of why uh, you can sell them for profit so I end up buying all the wands out here we but finish the bat wing and buy the spider wing uh, wands and then I end up buying the spider silk shields which are also uh, a bit of profit and I'm sure there's other items in there that you might be able to profit off of so feel free to try all right, guys, so after this, you're going to want to head to Lumbridge and go north to the fishing shop. And in this shop, you'll basically um, just be buying out the uh, thousand feathers, and that's pretty much it. Um, it won't make you a ton of money, but it does add up, uh, you know, a little bit because, you know, they're feathers and they go for way more on the GE. So now we're going to go to Borthorpe, and here we will be hitting um, the magic shop is going to be the first place we hit. And uh, this is where, like I said before, you're going to make the most of your money. You're going to want to buy the same runes as before. And don't forget to take the free runes if they're there because, I mean, it's free money. Come on. Um, so here I did not buy the death runes because I figured out they just aren't worth it. But all the other runes will make you a decent amount of money. And now you'll want to head south. Um, 
So you want to go through the, the trees and pass the like uh, Druidic Ritual place and you'll want to go to the summoning shop and you'll want to buy out all the empty pouches. So there should be about 5,000 of them. Uh, you can take the free spirit shards and stuff while you're here as well. And then you're going to want to head over to the Herbler shop at Jadix. And here you'll want to buy the Limper Roots. Um, they're only 7 GP and then you'll also want to buy the red berries um, So this is going to make you a decent amount of money as well. So not too bad there All right, and finally coming on the last part of the run You're going to want to head to Varrock and you'll want to head on up to the rune shop And this should be pretty much the same drill as before you're going to buy the um, the fire runes the water runes the air runes, the earth runes, the mind runes, and the chaos runes. So basically all the runes but the death runes you'll be wanting to buy. And like I said before, do not forget to take your free runes because that's free money. And that's about it for the run. It only takes about five or six minutes. And now we're going to head and look at how much we made. Alright guys, so now we are into the portion where our run is done and we are going to be selling everything. So basically, like I said before, the brunt of the money is going to be coming from the runes. But I was also pleasantly surprised that a lot of the wands that I got from Betty's shop actually ended up selling for a pretty decent amount over um, the GE price. And same with the milk. So like I expected these things not to sell, like the Batwing or maybe the important wands would take a while to sell. But they all literally instant sold. I think the only thing I had... Um, that didn't instant sell was the red berries but literally everything else instant sold and they sold for over um, the med price a lot of them which I was really surprised by and it makes me wonder if there are more things in the shop that could be decent that people might disassemble that it might not reflect how much they actually go for on the GE so I feel like you could make even more if you research and find more of those that I wasn't actually aware of um, but all in all this run is heavily carried by the milk and the runes basically um, like I said before it takes five or six minutes um, it's not going to take too much of your time, maybe 10 minutes um, if, you know, it takes you a while to longer to do the milk. But honestly, it's not that long at all. And uh, as you can see here, like I showed before, like some of those wands were selling for 2k each and they cost like 100 GP, I believe. So that was really, really nice. And we spent about 120k or so. Um... And as you can see here, 552k because we started with a mill. So our profit is 552k in about, you know, six minutes or so. So, I mean, obviously this comes out to way more. This comes out to about 5.5 mil an hour um, if you're going just by time. But of course, you can only do this once a day. Uh, so if you're planning to do this, uh, make sure you just, you know, put it into your daily routine. Like I said, it doesn't take long at all. And, uh... Yeah, I hope this guide could help you out. I'm actually going to come out with a free-to-play money-making method guide that has free-to-play money-making methods that you can constantly do along with this. So hopefully for all of those in free-to-play that watch my videos, hopefully with this daily run uh, money-maker and then also uh, some money-making methods for free-to-play that I'm going to come out with in the next few days, hopefully uh, we can get you on a road to the bond and get you into members with us. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you out. If it did, please leave a like. Um, and uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We're getting close to 6K. We're, we're about halfway there, so really excited for that. And thank you to all my channel members. If you want to support the channel, you can click the Join button below and get a bunch of cool perks like a Discord ad, a special Discord, PVMing with me, all types of cool stuff, merch crazy stuff so click the join button below and uh yeah thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next video which will probably be the free-to-play money making guide so subscribe for that